Hey guys, um, so it's been another week and even more makeup releases I think than even last week which is insane to think about. Um, so we might as well jump right into it so that this isn't an insanely long uh, video. The first thing that was released this week uh, was Solan Lux um, and they've released some new lip glosses. So they seem to be in two shades based upon the pictures that I've found. One is sort of like a goldy colour and the other one is more of like a clearish pink. Um, now I've never actually tried anything from them and I'm, I don't really wear glosses that much although I am wearing a bit of a gloss today. Um, I kind of more top my lipsticks with them to give it a nicer sheen. Um, so this isn't something I'll really be going for because I have enough as it is but you know it's there if you're interested. The next thing that we have to talk about is that Asgard Queen Cosmetics which I've I've never heard of before um, but it is making me think a little bit of Thor so that's always fun. Um, they've released a new eyeshadow shade called urge and it's meant to be a cool gold shade. I'm really liking the promo picture, it looks really quite cool and funky. Um, I wouldn't just buy, like if I was buying from a brand, I'm really weird in that if I'm going to buy from them I have to buy more than one thing, um, particularly if it's it's just like a single shadow or whatever, it, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me because I start thinking of things like shipping um, to make it worth my while. Um, so I won't be picking that up but it, it does look quite interesting but at the same time I'm like a cool gold isn't exactly groundbreaking at this point. So the next thing that we have to talk about is a Blow Wow palette. Um, it's called the Your Fairy Tale is Within palette and it seems to be a mix of kind of colours and neutral but it, it seems to be more of a neutral palette than a colourful palette. They're it looks like the red that's in that palette is is a glitter, but it's really hard to tell. Um, it's available now for twenty five dollars, and considering there is a four, is it seven by five, thirty five um, shades in there, so it's compa comparable to a Morphe uh, thirty five pound palette. It's not bad in terms of price, but I don't know anything about the quality. Um, nothing about this is particularly interesting. Um, for me so I'm gonna pass on that. Um, the resolve is strong. Um, the next thing is <laughs> Real Techniques are kind of doing, um, it, it, it looks like they are doing a, a beauty blender thing of just kind of going look at our makeup sponge but now we have it in a new colour, go buy it. Um, they have uh, released a miracle powder sponge um, and they say it has microfiber technology, maximum powder pickup, velvety material for evenly blended powder. You can use it wet or dry. I'm not sure how this is different to their regular orange one. I did see it the other day in boots and it didn't look like it was different. Um, I won't be picking this up because I have enough um, kind of makeup sponges at the moment. Like I have a real, I have two real techniques. I have an actual beauty blender and I got a new one from like Sunday Ivy that I want to try. Um, so I have plenty at the moment. I, I'm fine to pass on that. The next thing is Gothic Gardens Cosmetics have released um, a blush and highlighter duo and it's such an unusual kind of shade and the promo pictures are are really interesting. Um, they are quite cool tones for like a blush and highlighter so I think that's really quite interesting. I can't think of anything that's similar to it. I like kind of warm tones when it comes to, to blushes. Um, I'm more of a warm tone kind of gal, although I could change, you know, makeup tastes always change. Um, but I have enough blushes and highlighters at the moment, so I'll be passing on that. But, you know, I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, next thing is Makeup Revolution, you know, have come out with a new nail polish, apparently. Um, so they say that they are free of all nasties. Uh, so it's meant to have high colour pigmentation, uh, cruelty-free vegan avocado oil, premium formula with fine Italian glass and wide brush. Made in the UK and there's meant to be over 40 shades. Uh, it launched on the 17th of July. So today is the... 20th so they're already available um, and I know that you can buy them in the UK but I would imagine you could probably get them on their website as well. Careful. Not to the laptop. 
Uh, the next thing that we have is Mylas Cosmetics have come out with uh, two new highlighters. Um, so one is like this sort of a goldy shade and the other one has more of like a, a pinky, peachy sort of a shade. Um, again, I have loads of highlighters so I won't be needing that, but they do look quite nice. Uh, next thing is um, Angel Empire Cosmetics uh, launched some new contour powders um, on the 14th of July. I have no idea what these are um, and contour powders I've never like do they mean like um, bronzers I I don't know and they seem to be very kind of cool tones which kind of makes sense for for contouring you you want to have that sort of shadow um, not for me again I like warmth um, in in my makeup base um, but yeah I've, I've never really heard of anything quite like that before who knows? Things are always changing. Um, the next thing that came up was um, the Cosmetic Apex launch, or are launching, um, their new Climax palette. Um, it's going to be launched on July 24th at 6pm. Now, I'm not sure if that's like American time or Irish time or what the story is there. It just said 6pm. Um, this reminded me of two palettes. Uh, it reminded me of the Yes Please Colourpop palette and it reminded me of the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. So uh, as far as I'm concerned it isn't a, a necessary buy and there's nothing kind of new or original about that. JC Cosmetics, who I've never heard of, are releasing a Besties eyeshadow palette. It has 35 shades, 7 shimmer and 28 of them are mattes. Um, it's for $39.99 but they said that the regular price is going to be $44.99. Uh, but the day of launch, which was the 17th of July, uh, they'll have it on sale for the $39.99. Um, so I would imagine it's no longer available for the $40, so it's probably $45 now. I can hear my cat just rustling in the background. Ah. Oh. Anyways, back to the palette. Um, it's, it's definitely interesting in terms of, like, the colours, but when I look at that, I think straight away of there's this blush, um, blush tribe psychedelic palette that I got like about last year or something before they started rebranding their stuff and it has a lot of the shades in that so there's a zero point in me getting that and also when you have such a big um palette like that 35 pans I find you're less likely to dip into it because you get a bit well I personally get a bit overwhelmed she's jumping all over the place um so that wouldn't be for me next thing is I Am I Hearts Beauty, which is really strangely hard to say, um, have provided a sneak peek. So it says um, also that their best seller Sapphire and Emeralds restocks on Friday. So it just restocked yesterday. This looks to be like a sort of um, like a glitter type thing. Sort of like the, I think the Colourpop um, glitters that kind of come in that pre-made formula that you don't need any like setting glue or whatever with. Um, I already bought like a ton of those uh, because I like glitter. Um, so I won't be getting that, but you know, it's a viable alternative if you don't want to buy something from Colourpop um, uh, for whatever reason. I'm not going to judge. Uh, the next thing is Vanessa's Vanity have kind of given a sneak peek. It seems to be this... Blue, almost like a, a duo chrome uh, this blue sort of a shadow like a kind of not quite sky blue a little bit darker with a greenish kind of tinge to it or a greenish shift um, so they say that this is going to be available in August 2019 that looks really nice but again I'm not going to buy just one single eyeshadow that makes no sense like financially um, next thing is uh, Macaria I think I'm pronouncing that right. Macaria Beauty have uh, released the, oh geez, why do people do this to me? Azulejo palette, A-Z-U-L-E-J-O. You pronounce that. Um, it is this really pretty palette with blues and like whites and this sort of a silvery gray. Um, and it's apparently available now for $25. If Colourpop hadn't already come out with the Blue Moon palette, about, 
a month and a half, maybe two months ago, I would have totally gotten this. I think that's that looks really, really pretty. So again, if for whatever reason you decided that you didn't want to go with the colour pop, this is a, a really viable alternative. Jeffree Star Cosmetics have released a mystery box uh, for the summer. So um, it's available uh, on July 19th. So that was yesterday. You can get them in three different sizes. Um, the premium and deluxe boxes both contain an exclusive liquid lipstick shade. Um, uh, and they say, no, it's not bright yellow. Uh, it's a gorgeous shade only available for one time only when these launch. Um, they're really going on the whole FOMO thing. I I I do not like surprises when it comes to makeup. I like to know what I'm getting. Um so a mystery box would not be for me. Um but you know, some people love that sort of thing or they might have like a limited makeup collection. I do not. And kind of say to themselves, "Oh, well, I'm just happy to just contribute to it in some way and maybe test something out." So if that's something you're interested in, maybe. There was no information on how much it is, but like, I mean, if they're three different sizes, you know, they would range, I, I would imagine. Um, M Cosmetics, so EM Cosmetics, because there's two different M Cosmetics, um, uh, have launched, or are launching, new liquid serum blushes on July 22nd. That looks really pretty. I I don't really use liquid blushes that often. I know there's the, the Benefit, like the, the Posy Tint, the Daisy Tint, or whatever they're called. Um, I used to use them a certain amount, but I tend to favour um, powder blushes at the moment. Um, in saying that though, I have been using the uh, Colourpop uh, Super Shock blush and I, I think that looks really pretty because it has this sort of like a, a pearly finish to it as well, so it kind of gives it sort of a glow. Um, so that isn't for me, but you know, again, if you're really into liquid blushes but you don't want to get something from Benefit because they're not cruelty free, then that is something to, to consider. Um, Winky Lux have come out with some new lashes. So they've come out in three different, um, I was gonna say three different shades, it's not shades, uh, three different styles. I got the words. Uh, and they're $20 each. So they come in the styles uh, Baby Doll, which they say is going to give you a fuller natural lash um, in the style Everything. And that's, they say that this is meant to be a lash for every day, a soft to the touch finish that amps up the glam from morning to night. And they, uh, they also have, um, a style called graduate which they say is for the lash addict um, it says it's not your average lash the graduate was designed for daring glamazons ready for more lash with a soft fluttering finish um, they definitely look really really pretty um, and I do like um, a false lash $20 is a lot that would be about 18 ish euro uh, don't quote me, I'm not great at converting. Um, that's an awful lot because at the moment I tend to go for Eyelure and I wait for like sales in Boots where you can get buy one, gets a second and half price. So I like stock up and I'll get a few there. Um, and I already have like a stash of lashes and I get mine to last quite a while. This pair is on at least its 30th wear. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'm fine with the cheaper ones that uh, I'm okay with them. If they were on sale, you know, if I could get them for 14 euro, maybe. They do look really pretty. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one I think is the pretty. I think Baby Doll is the prettiest one, in my opinion. It, they look just like really quite full. And, and dramatic. I, I quite like that. But then I also have to think, I can't have lashes that are too long because they hit against my glasses, like yeah, clawing away. So that's not really for me. Um, the next thing is Tatcha, um, who are known for their skincare and all things skin, have come out with a new um, eye cream. It's called the uh, Silk Peony. They say it's an antioxidant packed double shield of strengthening hydration that melts into your skin uh, for smooth as silk, youthfully radiant eyes. Um, 
I'm not, I've never really used eye creams, but I am getting to the point that I'm like, oh, maybe I should like start to consider doing it because you know, my face isn't getting any younger. Um, it says that it has a unique melting feature which instantly smooths and blurs the looks of fine lines and wrinkles, in which case I'm like, can I use them here? Because this is this situation is bad. Um, it provides a doubly effective shield of hydration, reveals useful looking brighter eyes. Uh, it says it has a silk extract, which includes the two proteins that comprise silk, uh, saracen and fibroin. Uh, which provides a protective veil of hydration like a second skin without weighing it down revealing a lustrous glow um, so they have all these other like things like they have um, had to say three complex I don't know what that is uh, Uji green tea Okinawa Mozuko algae oh Christ these are hard and Akita rice which are all meant to help apparently with the skin now again I don't know a huge amount on these things they say it's meant to be for all skin types and Tatcha is cruelty free um but it does come with a price tag it is $60 uh for 15 milliliters so that is 0.5 fluid ounces that that is a pricey 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 thing um it is apparently going to be available August 1st online with, with Tatcha, uh, but they're going to be available in Sephora, which is in the States and in some places in Europe, but not in Ireland and England, um, on August 15th, but I'm sure you could get it <laughs> if you wanted it. Um, not from me though, um, but interesting. Um, next thing is Adam James uh, MUA have come out with a new collection. It seems to be some eyeshadows, uh, some lips lipsticks, and I think a pigment. Um, they all seem to be quite pinky shades. Um, not really for me, but it it launched on the nineteenth of July, so that was yesterday. Um, it's called the Candy Dreams Collection, so that makes sense that it's called that, given that it's pink. Um, not for me, but you know it's there if you're interested. Um, Love Lux Beauty have uh, said that they are releasing their sparks in new shades and packaging on the 20th so that is today. Um, I don't know what sparks is. Is it like a loose pigment or like a glittery pigment or a shimmer pigment? It seems to be from the pictures to be like a sort of a shimmery glittery but I, I, I'm not 100% certain. Um, they are shimmery and glittery but totally safe to use in the eyes. Well you kind of hope so like that that's where most people would want to use them. Um, not for me I have loads I'm trying to be better with my spending. Um, Nude Sticks have come out with a new base product called uh, Tinted Cover and they say that it's coming soon so there's no information on the exact date. It says that it adds a bit of coverage and moisture. I've never tried anything from Nude Sticks um, but it definitely it seems to be continuing on with the trend of like all being about the foundation, the skin, a good base etc. So that seems to be where we're going. Um, I won't be getting that. I'm fine with what I have. You know I just need to keep going on. Maybelline have um, released a new Superstay full coverage long lasting under eye concealer. It says it's full coverage lightweight formula effortlessly glides on and grips the skin to cover dark circles. A smooth seamless under eye finish for up to 24 hours. I always find the thing of 24 hours funny because I'm like who wears their makeup for 24 hours. That's excessive. Um, it says it features a precise paddle applicator that effortlessly glides the formula onto the skin for a smooth seamless finish, waterproof, waterproof, waterproof uh, transfer and smudge resistant in 12 shades. 12 shades. Oh that is that is bad because even looking at the shades they've provided there's like one dark shade and the rest are fairly light but it seems to all be around like this sort of a medium tanned tone. It's uh, $9.99 each. Um, no I won't be getting that. And the shade range is shocking. Like that's so bad. Not good. There are more than just Caucasian people thank you very much. Um, Beauty Bar Baby who I've never really heard of before have come out with a new highlight highlighter. They've come out with a new highlighter called Bustier. Um, it's a soft pink, which they claim will be beautiful in all skin, skin tones, but I'm like, that's not possible, that's not possible. 
Um, the even the imprint on it looks really pretty. I I do like a nice sort of a pinky toned highlighter. I think it's it's quite flattering on my skin tone. Uh, but again, I have so many highlighters, and I even just got my Ofra highlighter um, that they did in collaboration with Samantha March recently. So and that's one of them. It's Star Island has a sort of a pinky sort of a tint to it. So there's no point in me getting that. But Elijah Storm Cosmetics, who I've never heard of, have come out with some new liquid lipsticks and they are available now for $9.95. Uh, um, they seem to be in reds, a sort of a nudish colour and a pink. Uh, not for me, I have plenty of lipsticks, um, but that's not a bad price. Um, Colourpop have come out with a new sister company. So they already had Fourth Ray Beauty that seems to deal a lot with skincare. But now they've come out with Sol Body, which deals with all like body makeup care. So I was kind of like laughing. I think it was like last week or the week before where Kim Kardashian had come out with, and I still find it funny, um, with body foundation. But that seems to be the way things are going. I am not going to do that. I just do my face and my neck. Um, I'm kind of blended out, but I'm not. I'm not doing anything more than that. But they, anyways, they've come out with this new sister brand, Soul Body, which um, launched on the 17th of July, and they came out with um, shimmering dry oils in four shades um, for fifteen dollars each. Goes without saying, I'm not getting that. That makes zero sense to me. I tend to stay fairly well covered up anyways so where would I be putting it nobody would see it there would be zero point Ireland is not a very warm place to be going around showing your bloody clavicles so yeah <laughs> not for me Glaminatrix have uh, come out with um, a new matte liquid lipstick and some loose pigments so I could only there was only kind of one promo picture on that. Um, there didn't seem to be a huge amount of information. They look nice, but again, I'm fine for the moment. I'm doing really well. Uh, well, I say really well. I have bought a lot of stuff recently, um, but I don't. I don't need that. Uh, Terra Moon Cosmetics have come out with some more stuff. They provided a sneak peek, so this isn't available yet. So they ha are releasing. Um, a mascara and they're going to release a setting powder. Um, now I really enjoy the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. That's kind of what I have on my face at the moment. And I also recently bought the It Cosmetics kind of loose powder as well, which I have yet to try. Um, so until I've kind of gone through those or are low on those, there's no point in me getting more, but it's there if you're interested. Uh, Davina Cosmetics have come out with uh, two new multi-chromes, or they are coming out with them rather, um, on the 28th of July. So one is called Phoebus and it's a sort of a red to gold shift. Um, one is called uh, Papio, so I'm assuming like a butterfly. It's meant to be part of their butterfly multi-chrome, that, that one, the Papio one. Um, it's this kind of a purple to blue shift or blue to purple, depending upon your point of view. Um, those look really pretty and I do like Divina Cosmetics, but if I'm gonna get a multi-chrome, I really, really, really want to get the Cleaner Cosmetics stained glass collection. They look so pretty. Um, and their website is back up and running, so I'm, I might get some things, but you know, you didn't hear it from me. Um, Tarte Cosmetics. Oh, Tarte, what are you doing now? They have come out with a new collaboration with Whitney Simmons, and it includes eight shade uh, warm tone eye and cheek palette, uh, full size limited edition glide and go buttery lipstick in bare bud, uh, deluxe size man eater voluptuous mascara for $35, and it's available tomorrow, so that's the 21st of July. Uh, these shades are so dull, so boring, so, like, I mean, I fell asleep looking at it. It's, I mean, if you're going to do a collab, I, I get that that's obviously like her makeup look or whatever, but why would you do a collab on something that has been done five million times before? I mean, money, obviously, but, yeah, no, I'm not getting that, obviously. 
Um, Nars is apparently turning 25 this year. Happy birthday, Nars. And they are celebrating with two new lipstick collections. So what they're doing is they're taking their original 12 iconic lipstick collection um, that they originally launched with um, and they're going to reissue those with limited edition packaging and the pack packaging which I don't have a picture of but it's really cute and it's like a, sort of a reddish pink sort of packaging so that looks really nice but no point in buying that just for the packaging like that's that's silly um, but they are coming out then with an iconic lipstick collection which is 60 shades in matte satin and sheer finishes in the regular black and white packaging um so they said that the collection will be coming soon so there's no date yet but more lipsticks abound apparently so uh again not not for me. Um, Halcyon Cosmetics have been coming out with something every week for the past two or three weeks. Um, they're just slowly adding to their collection. They have announced their second metallic eyeshadow shade. It's called Steampunk. So it's this sort of a, a metallic grey silver. So again, they are really good, starting to head into that autumnal sort of murky, kind of earthy sort of tones, which is... is I think smart for them um so it does look there's like there's going to be a very cohesive sort of a bundle available uh once they have all of them um put out um bobby brown have launched their new couture drama eyeshadow palette um, and they say that this high pigment palette is the newest addition to the drama collection. It includes matte shimmer wash, chrome, metal and metallic sh sh shades, shadows uh, that can be applied dry or wet for maximum colour payoff. It's apparently available now exclusively on Sephora, so that's in the US, etc. Uh, for 59 US dollars. I looked at this and I was like, I thought you already did this. All of Bobby Brown's eyeshadow palettes look the same. Um, I have seen this palette, if not by Bobby Brown, then by other ones like Estee Lauder or something that look exactly like this. This is dull as dishwater. Um, no, no, no. And then on a completely different note, uh, Hip Dot um, have um, kind of given more info on this Spongebob Squarepants collaboration which by the way is a weird collaboration but they have this really colourful eyeshadow palette um, which will be retailing for $36. They're going to have Jellyfish lip gloss set uh, which has a three pack in Feelin Pineapple which is a gold, Coral number no. five a sheer blue, Sea Star Gazer sheer pink so not very wearable stuff um, for $30. They're going to have a Sandy Cheeks blush bronzer palette for $18. Uh, SpongeBob and Patrick sheet masks, four pack of, uh, a four pack is $20. Um, but I mean, I don't really know what their sheet masks are like. Um, but the full collection is available for $120. They launched on the 17th of July, so they're available now. Um, I mean, at least the colour story is fun and it kind of makes sense when you look at that palette that it is, it is a collaboration with Spongebob. Like, you can see the colours in the palette are corresponding to, to the show. Um, I think if you're a diehard Spongebob Squarepants fan, that would make sense. But I am too old for that. Um, I never got into that. Um, so that's that's not for me. I have loads of colourful, colourful, colourful palettes. So uh, totally unnecessary. This is almost like Bobby Brown and Viseart just kind of went, hey, we just released the exact same palette. This looks exactly the same. Um, so it's apparently, Viseart have um, done a collaboration with Camera Ready Cosmetics, which I've never heard of. Um, and they say that fall in love with beauty's most well-rounded palette for bridal and commercial work. Okay. Uh, this palette was designed exclusively by Camera Ready Cosmetics founder and professional makeup artist Mary Erickson. It features classic hues with cool undertones in a range of complementary matte and shimmer shades from soft pinks, rich purple and everyday neutrals. It's available now exclusively on Camera Ready Cosmetics for $80. It's even more expensive than the Bobbi Brown one. That is insane. And I'm 
I'm not convinced of the Vizier formula from what I've tried of the, the little mini pro thing. Um, that's not, I mean, no. <laughs> Beauty Bakery have come out with a new collaboration with uh, Queen Naja, so I'm not really sure who she is. Possibly a YouTuber or an Instagrammer. Not somebody I'm aware of, but I don't know everyone, obviously. Um, they've So they're, they're coming out with a Royal Status Cream Liquid Lipstick, which comes in a neutral shade for $20. Uh, Queen Tivity's Gloss in the shade Champagne uh, for $20. A Duo Lip Kit for $30, which includes a gloss and a lipstick. And that was available yesterday, uh, July 19th online. Um, they definitely look very wearable, very nice. Um, you know, if you're into, if you want like more kind of nude-ish sort of lipsticks. I don't have anything from Beauty Bakery, so I don't know what their general quality is like, but definitely something to keep an eye out for. And can we really have a week without Kylie coming in there somewhere? And Kylie, I mean, Kylie Jenner. So Kylie Skin are releasing body products for summer. Uh, the range includes coconut body lotion, coconut body scrub, and the Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen oil launching July 22nd, along with the restock of their other skincare products. Um, that's not for me. I'm not interested. Thank you. Next. But then the next thing we have to talk about it's more Kylie Skin stuff. They are releasing Kylie Skin concealers in 30 shades. I'm just looking at the picture there. Not a lot of dark tones. None of that. Um, but they're going to be available apparently in Ulta Beauty in the States um, on July 28th. Um, and they're meant to have setting powder shades as well. Um, not for me. I don't like, I don't, I was going to say I don't like Kylie skin, but like I've never tried anything from there, but I don't, I'm not into her as a person and I just, I don't want to give her my money. Not that that's going to make a major difference to her. She's still going to be able to like buy and sell me five million times over. Um, the Collective Cosmetics um, are releasing a summer collection, which seems a bit late because we're we're towards the end of July now. Uh, their collection um, seems to include um, some eyeshadows, a, a sort of a liquid lipstick and sort of a bronzer and possibly a highlighter. Um, I, I don't really know anything from there and nothing, nothing speaks me from there so I will be passing. Um, Fresh Beauty, which I've never really heard of before, have launched a new serum. Um, they say it's like a cold pressed green juice for your face. Vitamin Nectar Serum. Um, the new serum is jam packed with vitamin C, E and B5 and minerals to give your complexion the boost of nutrition it needs and it's on sale for $28.00. That's not bad for a serum, um, $28. Um, and considering it has vitamin C, etc., that's meant to be fantastic for skin. Um, I'm okay though, I have enough of that sort of thing. I'm I'm pretty set with Pixie Beauty. Uh BH Cosmetics have continued with their Zodiac collection to the dismay of everyone. Um, if you're familiar with any of their past releases in terms of the Zodiac collection. It is just a complete snooze fest. Um, but their new one is the Leo palette. Um, it has nine color shadows, which is debatable, and a highlighter palette. Um, they say it's a bold assortment of dramatic shades ranging from sun-kissed neutrals to fiery metallics. Are we talking about the same palette? That does not match with the picture that I have. This is bland and boring and dull and it's available for $14. So, you know, if you're foolish and you're into that, go for it. But my God, $14, no, no, no BH. I'm still angry with them over what they did with the Taurus palette. Cause I was like, oh, they have the opportunity for greens. It's gonna be so, no. They had like one green in it, one, one. Not good. <laughs> um, so remember how um, 
I think it was Wet n Wild Beauty did this collab with Pac-Man. Essence are now doing a collaboration with Pac-Man. What is that? And I don't, I cannot compute. So they have an Essence and Pac-Man eyeshadow palette. Um, usually you can get Essence in pennies here in Ireland or Primark in, in the UK. They have a blush palette, a baked highlighter, uh, a colour changing lip balm, which by the way, come on, a face brush and an eye mask and they say that that is coming soon. Why are Pac-Man collaborating with so many people? Like, there doesn't seem to be any sort of anniversary. I can't figure it out, obviously, other than, you know, money. But why is everyone collab... Well, not everyone, but why are they... Why are they seeking to collaborate with them? I'm very confused. Um, none of that is for me. It's all very strange. Um... JD Glow Cosmetics um, have released two new highlighters. They seem to be a very goldy tone. One is more of a cool tone. One is a little bit more warm with like a peach undertone. Um, they're called Periodit. P-E-R-I-O-D-T. How do I pronounce that? And Hey Daddy. And they're apparently coming soon. Um, they look nice, but I don't really know much about um, JD Glow in terms of their cosmetics. Anja Beauty Cosmetics, uh, I think it was about two weeks ago, gave us a sneak peek of this particular palette and now they have given the full reveal of a Rise and Shine uh, palette which is launching on Monday. Um, so I, I think that's really, really pretty. I love how fun it is. Um, I, yeah, they haven't said how much it is, but I would imagine it'd be like 25-ish dollars or somewhere along that for like a nine pan. Um, that I like that. That's interesting to me. Um, Colourpop, of course, um, have a strange collaboration with Halo Top Creamery, which is I think an American ice cream brand. Uh, so they they have these like sets where each bundle is twelve dollars, and the collection overall is forty dollars. But they seem to have like all these like different like I think it's like Super Shock um eyeshadows um they were available yesterday july 19th um i don't know they all come in different like shades or flavors or whatever it is that you want to call them they look nice but there's again i have loads so i i don't i don't need more um glam light okay so here's the thing they were sneak peeking like some shades of this and kind of going, ooh, what are we coming out with next? And I was like, is this? And of course, because they have come out with so many food-based palettes, I was like, they were showing like purples and blues. And I was like, hey, plant, blueberry, fruit salad palette, maybe? No, they've come out with um, a paint palette. So it is launching on the 24th of July at 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Um, it is going to retail for $45 and of course it's cruelty and uh, cruelty free and vegan. They say that, um, let me get the, the information here. They say that they have uh, 12 intensity pigmented mattes, five ultra dazzling shimmers, one amazing white gold duochrome, perfect for highlighting inner corners, all oversized shadows with a whopping 36 grams of product. So that was that, and they were like, yeah, we have our paint palette, and I was like, that's, I mean, that's interesting, but the, the packaging is just so bulky, and I know I would have shades like this already, so there's no point in me getting that, but then in addition to them kind of showing that, they went, here's this other picture, um, guess what, we're doing a collection, it's the paint collection, so in addition to that paint palette um, which they are going to be releasing with a free artist blending brush apparently and um, they have their paint lipstick which has two specially formulated long-lasting matte liquid lipsticks for $14 each it's unclear what shades they're in I'm assuming you can check it out on the website uh, paint splashes uh, so those are their lashes so it's paint spoon 
lashes. Um, in five styles available, each lash is made with the highest quality synthetic fibres, reusable up to 15 times, but they've no information as to how much that is, but based on their last ones, I would imagine about $15, which isn't, which isn't bad. Um, I like to get a lot of wears out of my lashes. I get really annoyed if I don't get a lot out of them. Um, so again, they're all cruelty free and vegan. Um, I won't be getting any of this. I wish it was a little bit more, I, I get the creativity and I, I think that's so cool, but I'm being really weird and pragmatic and being like, how can I store that? Where would I put that? And I don't, I can't, I have a ridiculous drawer of makeup. Like it is, it is shameful. Like it, it's ridiculous. So not even really being able to store it in there or being able to figure out how to store it would be a major thing for me. Bombshell Cosmetica are collaborating with Mary Jane Beauty on a Mystic Unicorn palette and the swatches. <gasps> the swatches look so pretty. So there's greens, blues and purples and it is just making me think. It's really funny that they're saying Mystic Unicorn palette because all I am thinking of is Peacock. I like... I don't know why they went with unicorn because I know unicorns was like a big thing like about a year or two two years ago but I don't really care what it's called I think that's really really pretty I, I really really want it Um, they say it's coming soon Um, so no exact information on that but yes I want it <laughs> I want it Fair Beauty Cosmetics Um, uh, have given a sneak peek and they're like oh something new is coming from us it looks like it's again sort of like am I heart Beauty came out with those little pot things. It looks like it's the same sort of thing, like that sort of like a glittery jelly thing. Um, so not for me, but I don't even know what shades they're in, unless it's a really interesting shade, probably not. Um, beauty Blender, who are famed for their uh, beauty blender sponges. I don't know why I did that, like as if it would actually clue you in. Um, so they've released brushes. This is the first time they've released brushes. Um, so, they have five brushes, three of which are dual ended brushes. One side is a brush and the other side has a cooling face roller tip to help alleviate puffy under eye bags and prep skin for makeup. I don't really know much about those roller things. I sometimes think that they're a bit of a gimmick. Other people I'm sure are well more versed on this than me. So they have, one of the brushes is called the player. It's a three way brow brush. That seems like a lot of work. Um, stiff angled bristles help lay down uh, brow powders, creams, gels and waxes with ease. A double sided spoolie allows you to brush and blend brows for $28. A uh, wingman curved eyeliner brush, um, which is a curved head shape. Tapered bristles are specially designed to hug the lash line for high precision application for gel, liquid or powder formulas, $22. Um, they have a high roller crease brush and cooling roller. So they say that this fluffy crease brush has ultra soft, cruelty free synthetic bristles and it strikes the ideal balance between the control and flexibility to create a perfect blend without all the effort and that's $33. Uh, the fourth brush is called the Big Boss Powder Brush and Cooling Roller. It has synth synthetic bristles, uh, full fluffy head delivers a soft diffused powder application for $60, Jesus. Um, and their final one is Shady Lady All Over Eyeshadow Brush and Cooling Roller. Uh, densely packed bristles and a medium sized tapered head, perfect laying, uh, perfectly laid down eyeshadow with major pigment payoff and less fallout. Applies powder or creams with a high impact finish, $30. Um, I recently ordered brushes from Sigma. I even just recently cleaned all of my brushes so I'm like looking at them and I'm like oh look at all of my beauties um I don't need more um and I I really enjoy the Sigma brushes they're my my favorite I'm not a major Morphe um brush fan Sigma all the way for me um so that I'm not going into that. Um, Sydney Grace are coming out with quite a few things. So one of the first things that they kind of announced was that they're, they're coming out with some lip creams and it's meant to be a cross between a lip gloss and a cream lipstick. And the swatch that they've given is a really nice kind of like a reddish orange nude, which I know sounds really weird, but that's the, the closest thing I can, I can get to describing it, which looks really, really pretty. Then the next thing they came out with was these um, like 
pigment formula, like these loose pigments. So they came out with five of these and they said um, that a glitter glue um, or mixing medium will make them easier to work with but aren't necessary. So the first one that they came out with is uh, called Delightful Spark. And they say it's a wine red with an orange shift. Um, the next one then was this uh, green uh, with gold reflex called Optimism, which looks really beautiful. And they say that they're um, going to have their sale, by the way, from the 21st of July. So that is tomorrow, um, as I'm filming this, um, through to the 28th. I have my eye on a few things. Um, that is beautiful. That green is stunning i really like that the next one i think is possibly my favorite it is called glee and it is a dark purple with blue reflex and i was just thinking of that with the bombshell cosmetica palette which is meant to be the mystic unicorn but in my mind it will always be the peacock palette oh, that would be lovely like on the outer mm. nice then the next one they came out with was uh, Comforting Light. Um, it is, uh, they said that this is meant to be more of a topper shade and it has a shift from pink to green slash blue with blue reflex. I'm not really that into that one, but you know, to each their own. Um, and then the the last of the, the five pigments that they came out is called Joyful Day and it's an aqua color with gold reflex and I just thought oh my god that's really nice it's really unusual um so there's a lot of me that's that's interested in this um they also came out or are coming out with a, a new setting powder so they say that it will be available in four shades and two formulas one of which is mica based and one of which is talc based so I think it's nice that they're offering that sort of um uh amount of choice to their consumers um again I have enough setting powders but that's that's interesting then this is part of what got me they gave a full look at the eyeshadows that are going to be launching as part of the Christmas and July sale and they just look so pretty there's like a purple bundle there's green in there there's reds there's a bit of a, like a mustardy yellow I want it all I want it all. Um, oh, the, uh, particularly that purple corner that is just singing to me. And the worst thing is, I know I probably have all these, but I don't really care. I just, I want them. <laughs> they are just stunning. Like, they're so pretty. Um, do colour. I, I was trying to figure out if it's do colour or do colour. D-O colour. Um, have provided a sneak peek of a new palette with no information on what the palette is actually called but there are yellows and greens in it and I am here for it that looks really really pretty now if right I'm waiting on the blush tribe Layla 2 palette which is like yellows and greens and if I hadn't already bought that and it is meant to be coming soon I would probably get this I think that looks so so pretty and I like a nine pan palette they're just easy to work with like you don't get overwhelmed so that that's beautiful um charlotte tilbury last week came out with a ton of stuff and she's come out with some more stuff this week so one of the first things she kind of came out with was she was saying that they have a new lipstick uh based on their favorite shade pillow talk which pillow talk is kind of like famous at this point in terms of uh charlotte tilbury um so they have pillow talk diamonds which come in two shades and retails for 34 dollars um so they have pillow talk diamonds rose pink lipstick with a dreamy veil of sparkle and lucky diamonds which is a bronze coral pink lipstick with a golden sparkle and um, they say that part of what makes it magic is a mineral based glitter pigment uh, which captures and reflects the light for a plumper looking multi-dimensional glistening pout an environmentally friendly alternative to plastic glitter i like that this was a ploy damn you Charlotte I, I do think that's that's interesting and they have extra bits and pieces in there as well because it has sunflower seed uh, oil and hops extract 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 which apparently nourish and condition for a soft and kissable finish <laughs> oh Charlotte um 
Film Formers, uh, which smooths and enhances for instant pout perfection. I don't know what film formers are, but I want them. Um, emollient oil, which are magical ultra glossy oil that adds to the wet look, shiny finish. Uh, emollient Ester, a dreamy cushiony feel on application and micro Stalin wax, which adds a super soft pillowy feeling to your lips and they're apparently available now. Um, definitely interesting, but you know, the price is is high. Um, one day um, I have a book deal um, so when I get the money from that I might consider splurging on some things. Um, so Pat McGrath came out with some skin stuff. So again like I said this is the age of the skin. Um, so she's called it the skin fetish. Um, a, a sublime perfection. So it includes a skin fetish foundation in 36 shades. Um, so if I'm looking at that, let me see. No, they don't really have any information on, on, although, yeah, from the swatches, it does look like they have a fairly decent shade range. Um, so they say it's $68. Ah, that's so expensive. Uh, 35 mils each. Uh, satin finish, sheer to medium buildable coverage for fresh, natural looking skin, self-setting. Okay. It has a serum-like feel and a diamond powder to diffuse light. Um, there are five shade families, so deep, deep, medium, 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 light, and light. Um, she says that she applies it with her hands like a moisturizer. I mean, that's interesting. Uh, but they're also going to be coming out with um, a setting uh, powder uh, for $55. Uh, the powder has diamond core technology, which gives skin radiance and blurs imperfections in five shades that correspond to each of the foundation shade families. That's smart. I like that. Um, they also have a primer for $60, uh, which is infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid. It helps pre to prevent water loss and leaves behind a smooth, velvety finish. And they also have two face brushes, a foundation brush for $55 and a powder brush for $58. That's a lot of money. Um, if you happen to feel very you know, expensive and bougie and whatever, they will be available on the 26th of July. Um, I'm assuming you would have to sell your first, firstborn. I'm assuming you would have to sell your firstborn. That is expensive. Um, but you know, I I would like to try that sort of stuff at some point. Um, so Pat McGrath has also come out with, th or is coming out with three uh, quad eyeshadow sets. Um, apparently, along with the release of that, she's going to come out uh, with a mothership. Uh, six eyeshadow palette in Midnight Sun and limited edition packaging of Matte Trance's Lips in Elson and Oh My. And that's expected to launch in October. So we have a lot of pre-information ready for that. You can start saving because <laughs> it's going to be expensive. It's Pat McGrath. Um, next we have a Smashbox co Cosmetics came out with quite a few things. Um, they came out with a photo finish setting powder for 39 for $39 in two shades. Uh, one is translucent for light to medium skin tone and one is translucent with a brightening banana tint for medium to dark skin tones. Um, they've also come out with a photo finish weightless setting spray for $32 and a photo finish oil and shine control primer for $39. I know that some people really love the Smashbox. There's one of the primers. It's like in a blue sort of packaging. Um, I've never tried it but I'm intrigued um, and you can get them in boots so I'm like hmm, maybe. Um, I won't be getting anything from that because there's nothing that that interests me there. Um, give me glow cosmetics. Damn you give me glow cosmetics. So they're the same one who uh, did the uh, juicy olive palette which I never got and I still regret to this day and they're doing the vintage rose collection um, they are releasing a, a new foil shade and and the swatches that they have given look beautiful there's this beautiful matte blue and then this fabulous shimmery blue gray purple it's oh it's so pretty I want it yeah I, I like that I think that's that's it the resolve is going um Infinity Beauty have uh, come out with uh, 
a Mariposa butterfly eyeshadow palette. Um, it looks, well, like, what can I say? Oh God, I'm gonna sound really mean, but it looks kind of kiddish. Like, you know, like something you get in Claire's accessories or something that you give to a five-year-old. I'm 29, this is not for me. I, I just, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, don't hate me. Um, Kat Von D. A, I'm not a fan of Kat Von D. Fucking vaccinate your kids. <laughs> Don't be a disease monger. Don't be anti-Semitic. Be a nice person. Anyways, she's making it very easy not to buy her stuff because she's come out with uh, new Crushes eyeshadows. Um, they're a cream foil longwear eyeshadow. Uh, they say it's possibly a new formula and a new finish. Uh, $21 each in crystal rose and silver chrome. Not interested at all. Even if I wasn't not buying from Kat Von D, this would not have interested me. Interested me? This would not have interested me. So pass. Thank you. Next. Um, Ofra, like chill out, <laughs> um, are coming out with a new collection. It's called the Island Time Collection. So they have an Island Time palette, which is $49, which has Liquid to Bakes blush and highlight palette in Bali, Bellini, Mai Tai, Punch and the new blush shade Cosmo. It does look pretty and Ofra just have amazing formulas when it comes to uh, like I mean they're they're some of my favorite they're amazing they're amazing um they also have a Cosmo blush compact for $29 full size individual uh liquid bakes blush um they have flexi slick five new shades lip cream shine leaves lips smooth velvety $19 each fuzzy shaken slush swizzle and top shelf and they're going to be available on the 23rd of July if I hadn't just bought a ton of things from Ofra I would I would definitely consider this but it does look really pretty I, I would keep an eye out on that Luxie Beauty spent a good chunk of this week kind of gone oh we have some things sneak peek hmm, here there so they were showing all of these like little sneak peeks of things and now they have finally given us swatches of the six new shades that they have and given an actual indication of, of what they're called and what they would look like on the website. Um, so they're apparently going to be $2.50 each, which is amazing. And I, I've tried Luxie Beauty. I think they, the, the quality is amazing. Um, but you can get all six uh, for $15. Um, so obviously $2.50 each. Um, there's some really interesting shades. I, I'm of course quite quite interested in that green which is called Electric Venom and the shade Hustle which is a pink and High Roller which is this sort of a bluey purple. The rest are kind of you know neutral and I'm like meh whatever but oh even the swatches they just damn you. <laughs> they look really pretty like $2.50 you can't go wrong like that's that's really good. Um so OPV Beauty, who I haven't really, I've never bought anything from them. They have come out with a new eyeshadow palette um, and they say it's inspired by palm trees and exotic beaches and it has 18 um, colours in it and it's going to be £30 and will be available on July 30th. Um, they also included some swatches and there seems to be some sort of greens in there. Nothing that appeals to me really. Um, that it's like, although mind you, swatches one and two, I was like green, and then I, I'm trying and try, I'm really trying. Um, but yeah, I I won't be getting that. It's 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 not for me, and I don't really know much about OPV Beauty. Um, Nakia Joy, who is a makeup artist uh, and a YouTuber. I really like her channel. She's really, really good and she gives some fantastic makeup tips. Um, she has her own cosmetics line uh, called Nikki Joy. Um, but they have come out with a new six pan illuminating highlighting palette, which is going to retail for 36 US dollars or 51 Australian dollars. Um, they say that it's suitable for all skin tones. Again, I'm highly dubious on that sort of thing, uh, but it is available now on their website. Um, 
that looks really pretty and I, I there's part of me that really wants to get it to because I like Nikki a joy but I'm also like I have enough I physically I, I can't I can't have any more like that's it's ridiculous um so I'll be passing on that but it is nice um fourth ray beauty so it's almost we're talking about color pop again um have uh kind of announced that they're coming out with a uh vitamin c elixir called radiate or a y d8 um it's especially designed by face serum and oil uh which is powerfully formulated to enhance skin radiance for a brighter more luminous complexion it has vitamin c and all of these bits and pieces in it um they're usually very affordable um I've heard good things about them. So I suppose if you're picking up a ColourPop order and you're getting some things and you also want to look at skincare, why not pop that into your basket too? Lorac Cosmetics. Um, Lorac was a big thing. At one point everyone was like, oh my God, must have the pro palettes. Oh, they're my ride or die. And they don't really seem to be sold here in Ireland or the UK. But they've launched their Lux Diamond collection. So they have the Lux Diamond palette for $39. And it's just boring as hell. Like 10 years ago it would have been interesting. But it's like, I can literally get that anywhere. Like it, every brand has something like that. They have Lux Diamond Cream Eyeshadows for $22 each in Lace, which is a pink champagne. Cashmere, which is a platinum. Silk, which is a copper beach. Satin, a soft gold. Uh, velvet, a rich plum brown, and suede, which is a warm brown, but they also have um, a Lux First Class Lash Mascara for $24. It's apparently available now um, and is exclusive to Ulta Beauty in the States. So that, well, A, it doesn't come to Ireland anyway, but nothing there is of interest to me anyways. Um, Fenty Beauty, again, are, are kind of going along with that line of all the skin you know, the foundations, the primers, the things, because they're coming out with a new primer and they say it takes mattifying to the next level. Uh, they've called it a Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. Um, they say that it's available online only uh, July 19th and it will be in stores August 15th. You can buy Fenty Beauty in Boots now, so that's, that's great. Um, I have enough primers for the moment, but that, that is interesting. Um, but in addition to that, Fenty also came out with a new complexion product, or they are coming out with. They've given a sort of a sneak peek, and they say that it's going to be available around September. Now, it's not clear if it's if it's concealer or if it's a uh, foundation. I know that when they released a foundation a while ago, it kind of had some mixed reviews and people weren't 100% happy with it, which is unusual for Fenty, because usually everyone's like, oh, Fenty is amazing, let's... To have a parade um so i'm i'm kind of thinking it might be concealer and that they went back to the drawing board and kind of went let's let's do something else um interesting but i have enough um menagerie cosmetics um have um launched a new palette it's called the violet ink palette which is available for pre-order now for $19.99 and they say that it should ship to customers uh, around August 22nd it has some purples and sort of a bluey sort of tone um I'm I don't know if I'm interested in that or not but then I'm like don't if you're not 100% interested in it, don't talk yourself into it. Um, for me, there isn't enough variation in the shades to be that interested in it. I don't feel... I feel like you'd probably end up making the same look every single time with that. And yeah, it's a six pan, but you could, you should still be able to make a certain amount of looks out of a six pan. Uh, so that's, that's not for me. Catrice and... Iman have a new collaboration. So they have an eyeshadow palette with nine shades, a highlighter palette with four shades, and a blush palette with four shades. Um, nothing in this is really particularly interesting to me. What I found semi-interesting was that the eyeshadow palette really reminded me quite a bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. There seems to be some similarity there. Um, not for me. Old Crooked Trail Scents apparently have five new face masks available for pre-order. Um, they have them in uh, detoxifying charcoal, rose hip oil, green tea and cucumber, rose clay and lavender. Um, 
I'm okay, don't need that, and moving on. Um, 3CE, I don't know how I'm meant to pronounce that, um, have, uh, or are launching a multi-pot palette in Going Steady, and apparently it can be used on eyes, face, and lips, and will be launched on the 22nd of July. It looks like it's a cream product. No, no, <laughs> no, no. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want it. Ugh, gross. Oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't have said ugh, gross, but there you go. And huh, we're here. We're at the end. This is the final thing. Now, we've all talked to ourselves. Justin Bieber, wouldn't it be fantastic if he could have a wife that would just, you know, know everything about makeup and tell us what to buy? Um, <laughs> oh, well, he does now. Um, uh, Hayley Bieber and she has teamed up with Bare Minerals and they have come out with a new bouncy powder. <laughs> the video was really strange. Um, it's It just keeps showing her like, like dipping her finger into the eyeshadow palette and it kind of like bouncing back and I'm like oh 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 that's really weirdly disconcerting. Um, they say that it is apparently a blendable buildable bounce and blur collection which is available July 25th. No, no thank you. I can very easily pass on that. Um, so that is it. That is everything in the last seven days. Yes, seven days. All of that happened in seven days. Um, Lord only knows how much it's going to be next week. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, I'd like to know if anyone's getting any of these things or am I the only one who's interested in at least some of them. Um, so yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Bye. Mm -hmm.